Hello, this is Shara Prasanna Kumar and this video is regarding my project in the subject image processing and computer vision. The topic for my project is character recognition from an image using MATLAB. Uh, here I'm going to present an overview of what the project is about and what it's going to talk about. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is introduction to OCR that is optical character recognition. This is a technique I've used in my project to extract the text from the image techniques used in OCR, the various pre-processing techniques and all the noise removal techniques and the demonstration of how the project works and the results. So what is OCR? Optical character recognition. It's a mechanical or electronic conversion of an image of images of type written or printed text into machine encoded text. This is a common method of digitizing printed text. Advantages being easy storage, editability, searching, etc. This makes it more, more and more easier to compare between lots of text and store a huge amount of data in a very small space. So, given these advantages, OCR is a very hot field of research in the field of pattern recognition, artificial intelligence, and computer vision. So, the objective of the of this project is to demonstrate the conversion of an image to text using MATLAB and I'm going to be talking about the various noises that are present in the image and the pre-processing techniques that are used to reduce these noises perform line segmentation and character segmentation and later identify the character using set of given templates and then print the words in the image in the text format So talking about the noises that can be present. So the first kind of noise that could be present in any image is salt and pepper noise. This this is how the noisy image looks. This noise can be basically created by the dust particles that are in the air or maybe the dust particles settle on the lens or whatever reason that could happen. So this noise can basically be filtered using a median filter. What a median filter does is take a pixel and then select an arbitrary size of matrix around it given m by n and then take the average value of all those uh, all the pixel values in that arbitrary matrix and then assign to the pixel that it has chosen so the result being this if we concentrate this area this is the higher uh, majority of the area is black and there's only one pixel that is white so the majority being black the, uh, the value of the black pixel is being assigned to the white pixel and so that is how this particular noise is being reduced that is what is applied to the whole image and you could see the result a clear change uh, the next is the Gaussian noise Gaussian noise is similar to salt and pepper noise but it introduces color pixels as well and uh, the parameters could be very uh, could be different so the same kind of median filter can be used to filter the Gaussian noise as well there are other noises that could be present in, in an image that are poison noise and speckle noise we could use various techniques including median filter to remove those noises as well so next talking about the pre-processing techniques to remove various noises deblurring Deep blurring is a technique that could be used when the image is blur. Generally the image the image blurs due to when the image is captured in a motion. Either the image is moving or the camera that is going to capture the image is moving. So when this happens, this is the effect. Suppose it's the original image, this is the effect of of capturing an image that is while moving. So this is the effect of capturing an image while either the camera is moving or the image is moving. Suppose the original is this and when you capture it this is how the blurred image could be. But I have simulated this image using MATLAB and I have introduced some noises in the image as well. So how can this deep blurring be removed? Deep blurring can be removed using Wiener filter. Wiener filter 
is a Wiener filter basically uses two given parameters to deblur the image. One of the parameters is point spread function. Point spread function works in a way. Uh, in point spread, point spread function, you need to know the angle of the ca camera that is taking the image and the motion. Uh, so knowing the angle, you know which direction you are moving away from the image and the angle gives exactly the orientation where the camera is situated while it is in motion. So these two parameters can help us uh, remove the blur of the image using Wiener filter. Or the second method is by introducing a noise, a random noise. You can specify any amount of noise and knowing the parameter of the noise, you can remove it using the Wiener filter. This is uh, deblurring using a known parameter that is noise. Pre-processing techniques to remove various noises. So, one of the pre-processing technique here I am talking about is contrast enhancement. So, after uh, once you start, uh, the next technique I'm going to talk about is contrast enhancement. Contrast enhancement is necessary for an image. The image could be taken in various light intensities. If the intensity of the light is very dull, this is how the image could look. So to this, we need to enhance the contrast, make it make the image a little more sharper so that we can easily identify the text part and remove it from the background, which is not necessary for us. Suppose this is the original image. Applying histogram equalization for the image, this is the kind of output that we can get. And enhancing the contrast using IM adjust this is the kind of output that we can get from MATLAB. So this could be a clear change of contrast. This is, we can see a clear change of contrast from our initial image to the final image. Morphological op opening operation with a threshold value of three. So we can see how the image is being transformed from this image to this image. We can, we can just check at this pixel this pixel is being removed because there are more than three pixels around it which are value zero and similarly this these two pixels are removed and these two pixels are removed and these pixels are removed so this is how the morphological operation works character identification the next step after all this is character identification each character is segmented separately so in a word there could be many characters and it is important for us to separate all the characters. So each of the character is segmented separately based on the black gaps that are present in between the characters. The character separate is uh, separated is scaled down to the size 24 into 42 in this case. So these are this is the standard character that I'm choosing and this is a character that has been segmented from my project. So this is scaled down to 24 width and 42 height because this is also this is also the parameter 24 width and 42 height 42 pixels and 24 pixels each character is compared with a set of predefined characters i have a folder with a set of predefined characters that are a to z and 0 to 9 numbers and a correlation function uh see you and and a correlation function that is present in matlab is used on these two images a correlation function called CORR2 in MATLAB is used on these two images to find the correlation factor between these two images. And each of these values is stored in an array and the maximum of that value is assigned. And and CORR2 which is a correlation function in MATLAB is used to identify the to print. character that has the maximum so here are the results that are obtained from my project and I'm going to show the demonstration in MATLAB so this is the function of OCR that I've used and I've loaded the image and it's ready so now I'm going to run the file So these are all the images that are produced in, in the sequence 
and the output is here the word says Sharat and also 6210563 that is what is that's my UFI so so this is this is the image that is finally processed it is SHARATH SHARATH and the number 6210563 6210563 so this is the output so here I'm gonna de demonstrate the working of the project once here I'm gonna introduce a Gaussian noise and then I'm gonna filter out the Gaussian noise using a median filter and a histogramic realization technique so these are the values and parameters of the Gaussian noise and here I'm gonna run the file so these are all the outputs this is the final output that I get and to see the output yeah this is this is the output printed in form of a text this output can either be printed in a word file as well or any text file so I've just printed in command window for now so this is the image that has introduced so so this is the actual image that I've loaded into the program the clear image I've created this image and this is the image I've created introducing from Gaussian noise with parameters mean 0 and various 0 0.05 and over here I've used histogram equalization so that is how that's where you can see all the sharp dots that were there in the previous image are smoothened now because I'm using histogram equalization and I'm doing contrast enhancement between this and this so I can see even the noise is increased but at the same time I can see the black region from here here is increased in intensity as well and then finally I've used gray thresh and uh, I've converted the image to black and white format actually inverting there is black here which is white and the background is white and gray and that is black so I've totally inverted so because this is uh, because this is how the image has to be in order to be compared with the templates that I have so this is the output again in this next demonstration I've used a handwritten text and captured the image using a camera this is to demonstrate uh, an image captured using a camera so in this next demonstration I've used an image captured using a camera and let me run see the output image and the other images this is the actual image that I've loaded this was taken by the camera captured by camera and after histogram equalization this is the output not much change but we can see slight differences in the output there are uh, sharp edges over here and there is white patches in between all those things are removed after histogram equalization and this is using uh, contrast adjustment so after the contrast enhancement this is how the images finally converting to black and white this is the image that we get and this is the output that mass that matches here I'm going to show uh, how to extract text from a blurred image here I'm simulating a blurred image uh, I've already done it so this is the actual image this is after blurring and this is introducing some noise to the blurred image so that we can use the Wiener filter to extract the actual uh, to remove the blurring and this is after de-blurring using Wiener filter so I'm gonna use this use this uh, image in my prod in my OCR program to extract the text from it so here I've run the program with the blurred image with the de-blurred image and this was the actual de-blurred image that I've used and this is after uh, median filter and this is using histogram equalization and then contrast stretching and the final image this is how it looks and for this image uh, running OCR this is the output that I got and it matches exactly with the image yeah coming back here I have uh, uh, 
coming back here I've shown the results of all the cases that I've taken this is from the directly captured uh, this is from a camera coming back here I've shown all the images of my outputs so this is the way these are the various steps that the image goes through before showing the output and this was the image captured directly from the camera and this is for the image that was blurred for the direct and this is for the image that was taken from the camera and then blurred and then de blurred and showing the final uh, output so this in case so this is to show an image that was actually blurred and then uh, the output was taken and this is for the printed text or which in other words is a scanned text that is blurred and then de blurred and then taking the final output so here I'm just showing the output from the MATLAB window these are the references which have helped me doing this project